So our grandson turned one year old and we had him a birthday party here at the house and it was really cool. He got lots of cool toys and presents and he got to smash a cake and it was great. And we filmed a good portion of it. And um, I'm just gonna like blur through this, you know, birthday party thing and show you what happened. One of the funny things that happened was Dolores' sister, Cindy, came and she had brought a Mylar Happy Birthday balloon and she was gonna tie it off to a little, he's got like a little airplane thing. Go ahead. Almost. <laughs> that's, that you can, he pushes and it's got a, it's got a seat on it he can sit on and a propeller and he can, you know, ride around in it or he can push it. Right now he's at the point where he's starting to learn to walk. So he's pushing this thing. She tied the balloon onto the back really tight. That way he couldn't get it loose so it wouldn't, you know, fly up. And as she's tying it, the balloon actually became untied at the part where the string ties onto the balloon and it floated up to the top of the ceiling and it's been there since. This was at the beginning of August and I'll show you where it's at currently. <laughs> this is kind of funny. It's been there it is. If, you, if I zoom in here, you can see it still says happy birthday and it actually hasn't moved one bit. Now, we have a very tall ceiling. I want to say this ceiling is about uh, 20 feet. I can get, oh, I've got an extension pole in the garage and I can put duct tape on it and get it down. But it's kind of become like a fun topic to talk about. Because <laughs> we'll come in here and people will call and say, has the balloon come down yet? Nope, not yet. It's still up there. So it's kind of funny. But um, <clears throat> I will get it down probably in another week. I just want to see how long it takes for it to start to fall. That was uh, the first weekend in August, and we're now two weeks later, and it's still up there. So, it's kind of funny. The other part of this that makes it funny is my wife is deathly afraid of balloons. I don't know if she was in a tragic balloon accident as a child, and someone scared her with balloons, but she is afraid of balloons popping. Even when I brought balloons home from Party City, for the birthday party, I'm in here, you know, blowing them up and tying strings on them so I can hang them up against the window. And she's like, oh, 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 and I'm like, what? You, you told me to get balloons. I know, I just don't want them to pop, but I'm like, so go sit over there, I'm, I gotta blow these up. Anyway, it's, it's funny. The ironic part is that she loves watching um, fireworks, which, you know, are basically the same thing as balloons as far as sound and, and startleness. Actually, fireworks are a lot louder. But anyway, she loves fireworks, hates balloons. It's one of the quirky things about my wife I love. Love you, baby. Thanks for watching. <laughs>